A survey of American college freshmen out today shows students are spending less time hitting the books and more time on computers. Of course, students use the Internet for more than schoolwork. Some websites can teach your children how to make mind-bending drugs that could kill them. CBS's Wyatt Andrews investigated for tonight's Eye on America. I thought, you know, hallucinogens were fun things to do on a Friday night. The drug overdose that almost killed this young man came from an exotic combination of chemicals and plants that promised the high of his life. It would last longer and make it more intense. He does not want to be identified, but says the dangerous recipe for how to mix what he took came from the Internet. What website did you learn this from? Arrowhead.org. Arrowhead.org. Arrowhead.org is just one of a growing group of websites devoted to recreational drugs. These sites now link to everything, from how to make GHB to how to test ecstasy for purity. But it's Arrowhead's reports on side effects, on precise doses, and its long list of recipes that make it the encyclopedia of altered states. Is this well known on college campuses? Yeah, I've seen kids with drugs in their hand look up dosages all the time. I was stunned at the volume of information that was presented there. Dr. Ed Boyer, an ER physician at the University of Massachusetts, was on duty the night the young man came in unconscious. Boyer is worried about these websites being used by the young. I do not believe it's responsible for children. It's just too hands-on. Too much of a cookbook for, for some of the substances there. But Boyer also uses sites like Arrowhead to stay current on the drug abuse he has to treat. I use Arrowhead all the time. Every physician I know, every law enforcement person I know who wants to find out the very latest in drugs goes to Arrowhead. The authors of the Arrowhead site declined an on-camera interview but defended their work by email, writing, We are a library with no interest in encouraging anything but learning and care. However, we believe that the decision to use or not to use drugs should be in the hands of the individual. Rick Doblin, who runs an ecstasy website, is friends with the authors of Arrowhead. These sites, he argues, are designed only to give the good and the bad of recreational drugs, not to encourage drug use. There are complete cookbooks on Arrowhead for how to concoct your own exotic hallucinogens. That's not the same as saying we think you should do it. Providing access to tools is not the same as encouraging people to use them. For the young man who overdosed and his parents, it's a cautionary tale about the freedom of the Internet. The web gave him access to unlimited information, but it was mixed with a brand new way to flirt with death. In Worcester, Massachusetts, Wyatt Andrews for Eye on America.